Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and in this video we're going to talk about an algebra topic expanding a single bracket. So what I'd like us to be able to do at the end of this video is expand expressions such as this, 5 brackets, 4 subtract x and understand why the answer is so. Before we start, there's two big ideas we're going to need for this video that I'll introduce you to before to help us understand what's going on. So here's the first. You probably know this already, but I need to point it out to you because otherwise we'll get stuck later on in the video. And we're dealing with the issue of multiplying positive and negative numbers. Now, usually uh, a number such as, let's say, 3 or 7, they're positive numbers. We could have a positive symbol there to denote that they're positive, but mathematicians usually drop that symbol and just write them without um, those symbols. So they would just write 3 and 7 to mean positive 3 and positive 7. And a, a negative number like negative 3 and negative 7 we would usually show with a, a negative sign in front of it as follows. However sometimes in textbooks we see um, it looks like a, a subtract sign in front of the, the number as well. So we've just got to be aware that these symbolise negative numbers. And we have to be able to multiply positive numbers with positives, negatives with negatives, and positives with negatives, and understand their answer. And here we go. We know positive 3 multiplied by positive 5 is clearly positive 15. I'm just going to write 15. We know that positive 2 multiplied by positive 5 is going to be equal to 10. We know positive 1 multiplied by positive 5 is going to be equal to 5. We know 0 multiplied by 5 is going to be 0 because 0 multiplied by anything is 0. Now, at this point, we're uh, I don't know if you can see the pattern, but this number is going down 1 each time. And we're keeping the same 5 here. Now, if you notice what's happening to the answer, the answer is going down by 5 each time. So, if on the next line, when we go down here, what is negative 1 multiplied by 5? Well, by the way things are working out, it has to be negative 5, as follows. And negative 2 multiplied by 5 must be negative 10, continuing the pattern. And negative 3 multiplied by negative 5 must be negative uh, 15. So this is showing us a negative multiplied by positive gives us a negative answer. Now, assume we have now accepted that as a fact. Let's use that fact in the next part. Suppose we started with negative 3 multiplied by 5, which we've already said at the bottom there is negative 15. Then negative 3 multiplied by 4 is going to be clearly negative 12. Negative 3 multiplied by th positive 3 is going to be negative 9. Negative 3 multiplied by 2 is going to be negative 6. Negative 3 multiplied by 1 is going to be negative 3. And negative 3 multiplied by 0 is clearly going to be equal to 0 because 0 multiplied by anything is 0. Now watch the pattern. The pattern is going up by 3 each time. As we um, reduce this number, the pattern is going up by 3 each time. So clearly, negative 3 multiplied by negative 1 going up by 3 must be positive 3. Okay, and, and so it would continue. Negative 3 multiplied by negative 2 would be positive 6. So just by looking at patterns of numbers, we can determine the following things. We already knew that a positive number multiplied by a positive number gives me a positive number. That's taken for granted. 3 multiplied by 5 is 15. We deduced from down here that a negative multiplied by a positive is negative. So a negative number multiplied by a positive number is also negative. And clearly, a positive multiplied by a negative is going to be equal to negative as well, because um, it doesn't matter the order in which you do a multiplication. And lastly, in this line here, we deduced that a negative multiplied by a negative is actually a positive number. Okay, so that's a key idea we need for this video. So maybe I'll summarise it in slightly neater um, than this with an example. This might be a great example for you to write down. Say we have the following uh, multiplications. Let's deal with 3 and 4, 3 and 4, 
3 and 4, 3 and 4. And what are they equal to? Well, let's take positive 3 multiplied by positive 4, and we're going to get positive 12. If we had a positive 3 multiplied by negative 4, we get negative 12. If we had a negative 3 multiplied by a positive 4, we get negative 12. And if we get a negative 3 multiplied by a negative 4, we get positive 12. And what you can see, an easy way to remember it, the signs here are the same in the multiplication, and the signs here are the same. When the signs are the same, you get a positive answer. When the signs are different, you get a negative answer. So you could remember it, when the signs are the same, you get a positive answer, and when the signs are different, you get a negative answer. Okay, big idea one, done. Next, the next big idea. What does the following mean, 3a? Well, 3a means, so use the identity symbol here, is identical to 3 multiplied by a. And that is also the same thing as a plus a plus a, three a's added together. So 3b must be 3 multiplied by b, which is b plus b plus b. Similarly, 3ab must be 3 multiplied by ab, which would be ab plus ab plus ab. 3 star in algebra would be 3 multiplied by a star, and that would clearly be a star plus a star, plus a star. So, this is the one I wanted to get to. What does 3 brackets x a, a plus 2 mean? Where you know that this means the multiply sign. Brackets, something in brackets, and the number outside means the number multiplied by the thing in the brackets. This must mean 3 multiplied by a plus 2, which means a plus 2, plus a plus 2, plus a plus 2. Now, using our previous knowledge in previous videos, we can collect like terms. We've got an a, plus another a, plus another a, and we've got a plus 2, a plus 2, and a plus 2. This simplifies, therefore, to uh, 3a plus 6. And that's what it means. So 3 brackets something means 3 of those brackets added together. Let's use that idea in order to answer the following questions. So let's go through some examples. Here's example one. We've just done this one, but let's just uh, reiterate this and I wanna show you something else. We said this means three of the brackets a plus two added together. So a plus two plus a plus two plus a plus two. Now you could have brackets around them here, okay? But uh, equally, you could um, not have the brackets around them um, and it would mean the same thing. So there you go, you've got three of a plus two added together. And we said that if you combine uh, that, apologies, if you combine those together, you would have yourself three a's plus six. Now at this point, I just want to stop. This was, was what we were trying to expand, and this is what we got as our answer. Can you spot a quicker way than writing out um, that. Well, what you can do is you can do 3 multiplied by the a is 3a, and 3 multiplied by positive 2, which is positive 6, so plus 6. And that's a quicker way of doing it. So in the next example, I'll show you the long way and then the short way, and then we might proceed just using the short way. Example 2. Expand the following. Well, the long way this must mean two brackets of x subtract one added together, like that, which is the same thing as x subtract one plus x subtract one. Um, collecting like terms, we've got an x here plus an x, and we've got a subtract one and another subtract one. So in total, we have two x subtract two. And we started with this here, and we could have done it quickly, by doing 2 multiplied by x is 2x, and 2 multiplied by negative 1 is negative 2. Okay, so that's how we could have done it as well. Henceforth, I'm going to do the quick way. Right, example 3. What we're going to do here is we're going to say this is 5 multiplied by 2, 
which is 10, and 5 multiplied by negative x, which is negative 5x. Next example. 3 brackets 4x plus 5. We can do 3 multiplied by 4x, 3 lots of 4x, which is clearly 12x, and 3 multiplied by positive 5, which is positive 15. Next one. 2 brackets 5 subtract 3x. Or so 2 multiplied by 5 is going to give me 10, and 2 multiplied by negative 3x, a positive multiplied by a negative is negative, and 2 uh, multiplied by 3x is going to be 6x. So 10 subtracts 6x. Okay, next one, we've got a negative 2 here multiplied by 3x. So a negative multiplied by positive is negative, negative 6x we're going to get, and negative 2 multiplied by positive 4, negative multiplied by positive is negative, and 2 times multiplied by 4 is 8. Okay, and the last example then, before you do some yourself, we have negative 2 multiplied by 5, negative 2 multiplied by 5 is negative 10, and negative 2 multiplied by negative 3x. A negative multiplied by negative is a positive, and 2 multiplied by 3x would be 6x. And they're all the examples I wanted to show you of expanding a single bracket. Now it's time for you, for you to try some yourself. Pause the video, have a go, I'll show you the answers in 10 seconds. Okay, and I'm going to show you the answers now, so mark your work. And the answers are follows. 3b plus 6, 20 plus 5x, uh, 20 plus 15x, 60 subtract 50x, negative 15x, uh, subtract 12, and negative 48 plus uh, 30x. And that's all for this video. I hope you found that useful. Tune in for the next video where we expand two single brackets and collect like terms. Thanks for watching.